Make sure to subscribe to 90's State of Mind. A. Marie is an American singer, songwriter, author, and actress. And actually today I wrote a song, which is why I was like hurrying up to get ready. Because they were like, you're not ready, you're late. I was like, no, I had the bridge and it just came to me. I couldn't stop. So I a. Marie was born January 12, 1980 in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. She was raised in the Washington metropolitan area. A. Marie was born to a Korean mother and an African-American dad. A few months after she was born, her family moved to South Korea, where A. Marie lived for three years. Her father was a chief warrant officer in the U.S. military. The family lived in many different places, including Alaska, Texas, Virginia, and Germany. My childhood, you know, I always sang, but if I didn't end up singing, well, you know, my parents thought I was going to be a lawyer or a <laughs> professor, and that, my sister is actually my, my legal counsel. A. Marie studied dance from an early age and performed in talent contests. After her high school graduation, her family settled down in Virginia, where she began to attend Georgetown University, from which she would later graduate with a degree in English and Fine Arts. While studying at Georgetown, A. Marie befriended a Washington, D.C. club promoter who eventually put her in touch with producer Rich Harrison, who worked with performers such as Mary J. Blige and began developing demos with her. During an interview with Maxim Magazine, a. Marie says she agreed to meet up with Rich at a public location because she didn't know him. A McDonald's parking lot was chosen where Rich played his tracks and A. Marie sang along. Instantly, they knew it was something special. Harrison, who had just worked on Mary J. Blige's albums, Mary and No More Drama, began recording and developing demos with A. Marie. This led to her first record deal with Columbia Records. A. Marie would record the chorus for the 2001 single, Rule, performed by Nas. The single peaked at number 67 on the Hot R&B and Hip Hop singles charts in the United States, and she recorded a song with Detroit rapper Royce the 5'9", titled Like, the third and final single from his Rock City version 2.0 album. And in July of 2002, her debut single, Why Do We Fall In Love, was released peaking at number 23 on the Billboard Hot 100 and becoming a top 10 hit on the Hot R&B and Hip Hop Songs and Hot Dance Club play charts. The song was an urban top 20 hit in Australia and reached the top 40 in the UK. A. Marie's debut album, All I Have, produced and co-written by Rich Harrison, was released on July 30th, 2002 to positive reviews. It peaked at number 9 on the US Billboard 200 selling 89,000 copies in its first week of release. The album has since been certified gold by the RIAA and has sold 657,000 copies according to SoundScan. To promote the album, A. Marie went on a tour with Usher and Nas traveling on Usher's Evolution 8701 tour in 2002. She promoted the album by touring with rapper Nelly, performing on 12 dates in the tour. The second and final single from All I Have was Talking To Me, a top 20 entry on the hot R&B hip hop songs, although it peaked outside the top 40 on the Billboard Hot 100. And in 2003, a. Marie won Soul Train Music Award for Best New Artist and was also nominated for Best R&B Soul Album for All I Have and Best R&B Soul Single Female for Why Don't We Fall In Love. She received a BET Award nomination for Best Female R&B Artist and an Image Award nomination for Outstanding New Artist. A. Marie lent her vocals to the LL Cool J song Paradise which peaked at number 14 on the Hot R&B Hip Hop Songs and became the singer's second top four and became the singer's second top 40 entry on the Hot R&B Hip Hop 100. She was featured on DJ K Slay's Too Much For Me on his 2003 album The Street Sweeper Volume 1, which peaked at number 53 on the Hot R&B Hip Hop Songs charts in A. Marie appeared on Bow Wow's third album, Unleashed, singing the hook to My Mama. She featured on the soundtrack to the Jessica album dance film, Honey, 
on the Rodney Jerkins produced track, When I Think of You. A. Marie gained even more recognition from her first acting role in the 2004 film First Daughter, starring Katie Holmes and directed by Forrest Whitaker. Are you aware there are two huge individuals with stun guns, sticky hands, and no manners flanking our door? You must be Mia. And you're not Linda. Also in 2004, she began working on her sophomore album, Touch. As with All I Have, the album was co-written and produced by Rich Harrison, who contributed seven new tracks to the record. Additional productions came from Little John, Bryce Wilson, Red Spider, and Drayan Vidal. Unlike her first album, A. Marie Cole wrote every track but one, Come With Me, which Rich Harrison wrote. She assumed more creative control over the visual imagery accompanying the album, such as videos and artwork. And in January 2005, A. Marie released the lead single, One Thing, a dance pop song which sampled the Meters 1970s funk recording Old Calcutta became A. Marie's biggest hit to date in the United States and peaked number 8 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart and topped the Hot R&B and Hip Hop Songs chart. The RIAA awarded a gold certification to its digital download in October of 2005 and another gold certification to its ringtone release in June 2006. The song was a top 5 hit in the UK where it became one of the year's best-selling singles and attained top 10 and top 20 positions across continental Europe. Now, there were some production issues with regards to the release of One Thing. Um, there were various rumors floating around and such. Can you tell me what happened there? Well, um, it pretty much, I guess, I guess we were talking about it, some people were just saying, like, um, if the album, if the single was going to come out or if anyone else wanted the single, but for that, I co-wrote that record um, with Rich Harrison, so that was always my record. Touch was released on April 26, 2005, peaking number 5 on the Billboard 200, selling 124,000 copies in its first week. The album was certified gold by the RIAA in August of 2005, having sold 406,000 copies in the United States as of June 2009. The album's self-titled track, Touch, was released as the second single from the album and peaked at number 95 on the Hot R&B and Hip Hop Songs chart in the United States. Although it was a top 20 entry in the UK, a third single titled Talking About was released in America only. An official music video was planned but eventually scrapped. And in September of 2005, A. Marie was featured alongside Fat Joe on the song I Don't Care the lead single of Ricky Martin's album, Life. The single entered the top 20 in several European countries in Australia. The success of One Thing and Touch led A. Marie being nominated for several more awards. At the 2005 Vibe Awards, A. Marie took home Club Banger of the Year for her hit, One Thing, which also spawned into a variety of remixes by rappers such as Eve, Fabulous and Jay Z, and in 2009, One Thing was sixth on the Roots list of top 10 hip hop and R&B songs of the 2000s. In 2006, A. Marie returned to the studio to work on her third album, Because I Love It, enlisting producers such as the Buchanans, One Up, and Mike Cameron. The album was her first not to feature writing and production from her longtime collaborator, friend, and producer Rich Harrison. She cited music of the 1980s as a major influence on the album, Take Control, which was co-produced by Mike Cameron, A. Marie, and Nicholson, and co-written by A. Marie, along with CeeLo Green, became a top 10 hit in the UK in mid-2007. Because I Love It was released on May 14, 2007 in Europe, Asia, and Australia, reaching the top 20 in the UK with the album's second single Gotta Work, peak number 21. The album has since been certified silver. During 2007, the impending US release of Because I Love It 
made the Blender Magazine list of 25 reasons to love 07, ranking 19. The official release date was delayed several times, and the singles Take Control, released in October 2006, and Gotta Work, were given little promotion, with neither song reaching the Billboard Hot 100. A. Marie spoke of her difficulties with Columbia Records in a late 2007 interview, stating that the label was not promoting her third album, Because I Love It, adequately, and that there had been major delays and shakeups within the label executive teams. The politics affected many of the releases during that time. In June 2008, A. Marie announced she had signed a label production deal through the Island Def Jam Music Group which allowed her to release her music under her own label, Phoenix Rising. In an October 2008, Columbia Records released a compilation album, Playlist, The Very Best of A. Marie. A. Marie described her fourth album, In Love and War, as a fusion of hip-hop, soul, and rock, with elements of music of the 1970s and a direct extension of my first album, All I Have. The album's lead single, why Are You peaked number 55 on Billboard magazine Hot R&B Hip Hop Songs chart in the US. Heard Them All, which featured rapper Lil Wayne, peaked number 81 on the same chart. It did, however, enter the top 10 on the Korean pop charts with little radio support and hindered by distribution problems. And Love and War peaked number 46 on the Billboard 200 and number 3 on the top R&B hip hop albums chart. Later in the year of 2010, she premiered a new song titled Outside Your Body. And in July of 2011, it was reported that A. Marie was in the studio working on her fifth studio album titled Somatica Volume 1. The album's title is based on the word somatics, the study of visible sound and vibration. In 2012, A. Marie announced the forthcoming mini LP title the Prelude, and in 2013, she stated that she had been working on a new project, Because I Love It Volume 2, a follow-up to her 2007 album. A single, What I Want, was released later in 2014, and she premiered the track Mustang and announced a UK tour for March 2015. And in March 2015, A. Marie collaborated with longtime friend and producer Rich Harrison on a single titled Out Loud. She promoted the song through live performances and made it available on SoundCloud and YouTube. And in May 2016, she appeared on The Breakfast Club and announced an EP titled Drive, released on May 20th, a second untitled EP due later on in the year. The album Drive, initially being released on SoundCloud, accumulated more than 100,000 streams within its first three days of release and was named one of the best R&B albums of 2016 by Rolling Stone. A. Marie also published an anthology book titled Because You Love to Hate Me in 2017 as well as a sci-fi trilogy novel series. And on October 17, 2018, A. Marie posted on her Instagram a picture with the date October 19 indicating new music coming. The next day, October 18th, she posted pictures of her new double album, released as two separate albums, titled 4AM Mulholland and After 4AM. This would be her second independent release since her EP Drive. She would then start her album tour in 2019. Currently, A. Marie has a YouTube video blog titled Books Beauty A. Marie, where she says she was writing two novels, one young adult and one fantasy. Thanks for watching everybody. Make sure to subscribe to 90s State of Mind.